Are we, are we good? Yeah. Yeah, you're good. All right, friends, please listen up. Today is the last day of school for Christmas break. We have some fun elf training stations for you. This is a very important day for you to make sure that you do your best to become the best elf that you can. You have eight stations. At each station, there is a station sign that will give you some tips for what to do. If you don't know what to do, what should you do? Read the instructions. Also, on the cone, there's a number that can help you know where to go. After number one, what's the next number you look for? Two. Look for the next number. Since there are eight stations, at number eight, you're going to start over at number one. one. So when you're at number eight, just start back over at number one. Make sense? Yes. Okay, each station has a wow challenge. If you complete any of the wow challenges today, if you follow directions, you may hit the wow on the way out. But you're only going to have about two or three minutes to be able to hit the wow. So you need to stay focused and do your best. Does everybody understand how it's going to work? Yes. Any questions? No. Are you ready to hear about the stations? Yes. All right. Make sense? Yes. Any questions? No. All right. When the music stops, please stand by the sign, look for the next number, clean up, and point to the next number. After number seven, you come to number eight, and number eight. Hey, what's up, guys? Merry Christmas and happy holidays. It's the last week of school. We've got a few extra days, so I always set up some holiday station activities for my kiddos. I wanted to show you a quick uh, visual of what it looks like. And I switch a few of the stations out every year uh, just to keep it interesting for the kiddos, but this is what it looks like this year. And I'll talk through some of the variations I use for different grade levels. For our warm up, we're gonna be doing our uh, Santa Claus Just Dance video. So while the kids are warming up, I will switch out any stations I need to for like K through second versus third through fifth. And I'll talk through some of those with you real quick. So each station has a uh, number. This is number seven. I've got eight stations. Eight is about the most I can fit in in a 50 minute class period. Um, usually we're running out of time right towards the end. This one is Elf Fitness Training. And uh, I used to just do these um, fitness challenges, but now I've actually, uh, in the last couple years, we got a uh, awesome set of climbing equipment from Everlast Climbing. Um, so the kids can do the normal fitness challenges, but then they can also do like climbing up to the monkey bars, doing the pull-up bar, doing the cargo net. Wow challenge of the day, if you don't know what that is, uh, check out the links below, but is the kids can climb up, go across the monkey bars, or K through second, if they can go up and touch the red on the cargo net. Since it's Christmas, I have a wow challenge for every station, so they have a lot of chances to hit the wow. The kids love to uh, hit the daily self-assessment bonus challenge of the day. So every station, there's a wow challenge of the day. I'll go through those real quick with you so you can see what it looks like. Snowball target practice. Kids will get one snowball each. This is number eight, so this is right after number seven. They clean up, stand by the number, look for the next number. They have to stand behind the white line. They're trying to throw a ball and knock down the Grinch off the bench. If they can knock all the Grinches off the bench with their group in two to three minutes before the time runs out, that is the wow challenge of the day. At this station, when the music stops, they spread out all the Grinches, set them back up, put their snowball back, and stand by the number eight cone. Since there are only eight, they're looking for the next station, which is number one. They just start over at number one. Over here at number one, we've got the gingerbread house building contest and this is what I do for K through second and they have enough hoops to build three hula huts um, actually scratch that with uh, kindergarten I actually don't do this they don't build the hula huts they get these little noodle slices and they build some uh, snow castles with the noodle slices this is what I do K1 and then for third through fifth I switch it out with build a snowman and they're actually trying to build a double or a triple decker hula hut so three hula huts on top of each other to build a snowman so i just take this one out slide it in front like so and then when the music stops they uh clean up stand by their number look for the next number since this is number one they are looking for number two at number two that is the snowboarding station they can always do something do it just play for fun but uh with the wow challenge at this station is to start with your snowboard on the black line to stand on the snowboard this is called a spooner board you can get them on amazon or anywhere online and then to try to go around the cone and back without taking your feet off of the snowboard so trying to go around the cone and back without taking their feet off the snowboard then if they complete the wow they can just play for fun spin around on them um, and then third through fifth, I actually add in an extra station here. Um, they can do snowboards or they can do Santa's skiers. 
and Santa's skiers are these uh, buddy walkers right here. So two people will get on each one, do the same thing. They're trying to go around the cone and back. Um, so that's the third through fifth modification for them. Next up is ice climbing. And um, I have a ton of different stations that I used to do, um, but I've switched them out since I've gotten this awesome climbing equipment the last couple years through some grants and fundraisers that we did. Um, so ice climbing, kids are trying to go through the hula hoop challenge. I take those down for kindergarten, first grade, um, cause it's a little bit too tough for them. Um, but then second and third, if they can make it through any of the hoops, and that's a wow. And then fourth and fifth, they have to go through all the hoops to get the wow on the way out for the wow challenge. And then this one is uh, a kindergarten. Take all those down. They just try to climb the ice, the ice wall. But uh, first through fifth tries to climb the icicle mountain, going across without knocking any of the noodles off the wall. Um, got those from Everlast Climbing Company. They are the ones that installed our wall, and they gave us this like noodle package along with it. Um, then after number four, they're coming over here to number five. At number five, they have two choices. They can do the chimney climb which is just uh, doing our rope climb challenge. K1 goes to pink, two, three goes to orange, three, five goes to green for the wow. And then some kids cannot climb the rope. So I always have a second opportunity for them whenever I do rope climbing. Um, if they don't want to do that, they can do test the toys. Test the toys is just a, um, basically anything you want to throw in, any kind of toy or equipment that you don't get a chance to use very much. Um, I am trying out these Pim de Luz for the very first time. These are a new little thing that we've got going on. Let's see if I can give you an example of what it looks like. You've got the yellow ball, you drop it in, and then you try to uh, scoop it out and catch it. Whoop. So he's just working on hand eye coordination. Um, I told the kids if they can get. Uh, for like first, second, and third, if they can get three in a row, they can hit the wow, and then fourth and fifth, they can get five in a row. Um, so that's the other option, but you could honestly switch that out with whatever you want for testing the toys out, any kind of equipment that you have. And last but not least, we've got a little Santa basketball. So I've got it set up for K1-2 with the Gator skin balls and uh, the low basketball goal. Um, basically the way I explain it to them is you try to make a shot. Every time you make a shot, you get a letter. If you spell Santa, then you can hit the wow on the way out. Third through fifth, I put a bucket of basketballs here and they play the game of horse, but instead of trying to make everyone spell horse, you spell Santa. One quick note, uh, I didn't always have these rock walls. These were not here when I got to school. If you haven't seen my change sticks time video, please check that out. And um, there's lots of different options and ideas you can do if you don't have all this climbing equipment, a lot of different station activities. Um, here's a few extra ones that I used to do uh, before I had all this climbing equipment. And like I said, uh, every year I switch them out with a few. So we've got a few different ones like Santa's bag toss, um, where they just have a bunch of random equipment they try to throw into a bag. Ice skating, put poly spots out and they stand on the poly spots and try to race their friends around the cone and back. You can do balancing, um, doing different balances, snowmobiles, if you have scooters, racing around a track um, on the scooters, snowshoes, I have some cup stilts that I use for these, um, or you could also do the um, buddy walkers for this one as well. A lot of different ideas, but I just switch a few out every time. And uh, that's how we set up the Christmas activities. It's a great little end of the year when the kids are so ready to get out for Christmas break. They're so pumped about the holidays and just get them in quick, explain the stations, and then they get to participate in the activity the whole time. I found it really cuts down on the management issues that I have because the kids are not gonna be very good at listening to that direct instruction. And also we're about to be out of school for three weeks, so they're not gonna be able to retain much um, so I didn't want to have any kind of like unit progression um, cutting through Christmas breaks. So this is how we close out every year at the end of the year, some fun holiday activity stations. Hope that's helpful. And I hope you have an awesome day and an awesome holiday break. If you're about to get out for Christmas, have fun and teach on. All the links for everything I discussed will be down below if you want to check them out for some more information. Have a great day.